Hello everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I'm going to be covering an unyielding heavy gunner build. And of course I just want to say to, you know, I would love to hear some suggestions in the comments. Maybe, you know, switch some perks up here and there. These are the ones that I thought worked best for me. So just saying you might have to switch up some of the perk cards to fit your play style. But I'm pretty much going to give you the base for it here. And so anyways, you need 10 for Strength, 4 for Perception, 10 Endurance, 3 Charisma, 10 Intelligence, 10 Agility, and 10 Luck. Now, you're going to need Legendary Perk cards as well, which I'm going to get into. So this may be a build that you have to work up towards. Like, you're not just going to be... I'm sorry if you're like level 50 or 100, you're not going to be able to get a lot of these perk cards. But it's definitely something to work for, and I think that's, you know, a part of playing video games is, you know, earning stuff. So... If you can't get all these perk cards on, you know, just don't worry about it and work up to them because you're not going to have all the legendary perks if you're a lower level. If you have all the legendary perk cards unlocked, then you're probably set to go. But I will go over some better perk cards here. And I just wanted to say too, um, you could have blocker or lock and load on if you want your LMGs to reload a little bit quicker. But I would highly recommend having blocker on because you're not in power armor and uh, the enemies that'll, you know, hit you like melee style will take off a little bit more or sorry, more than a little bit of damage. So I recommend Blocker. Um, all the Heavy Gunner perks, of course. Uh, Bandolier, if you're going to be carrying a lot of ammo, you don't have Fallout first. Um, Refractor um, is a good one as well. Life Giver, Ironclad, Fireproof. Rejuvenated is not one you would need right away. Um, Squad Maneuvers is not one you would need right away under Charisma. Um... Batteries included, if you're not carrying or using energy weapons, then you don't need that at all. Um, you don't really need Scrapper as well, but I like to have that on all the time just because you get so much more, you know, steel and whatnot from scrapping weapons. Um, Gunsmith, you can start at like level 2 or 3. Action Boy, you can start at level 1 or 2. The same thing with White Knight and Adrenaline. Evasive, even Marathoner, you don't have to have on. So I just wanted to show that you don't need to have all these perks on right away. But that's, if you can, that's the best build I could find that suited my playstyle at least. And I'm sure you will enjoy this build if you copied it, you know, tidbit for tidbit. And like I said, you need to have these legendary perk cards leveled up, which I'm showing here. And the more you level them up, the more perk cards you will be able to have on. So just keep that in mind when you're watching this. You know, I apologize if you're a little bit of a newer player, then this might not be, you know, the best build for you at the beginning until you, you know, build it up a little bit. But like I said, that's part of playing video games. So I wanted to show some of the, the uh, mutations that I use. Now, Adrenal Reaction, I highly recommend for this build. Carnivore, I recommend. Egghead, I wouldn't have that. Um, healing Factor, that's kind of your choice if you want to have it. Herd Mentality, of course, I recommend. Marsupial, Scaly Skin, and Speed, De uh, Speed Demon is what I recommend for this build. Um, definitely not Twisted Muscles. I had that on when I was uh, using a chainsaw, which I still do, so I just kind of kept it on. I'm not really worried about the accuracy, but that's besides the point. So like I said, Adrenal, Carnivore, even Healing, Herd Mentality, Marsupial, Scaly Skin, and Speed Demon, or, oh my god, Speed Demon I would recommend for this build. And yeah, I'm going to show you the damage that it can do. I'm also going to, before we do that, I th I'm going to get into the armor that you will be using for this, and it is unyielding. I'm going to link in the description a video that explains unyielding armor a little bit more if you didn't know about it. So just look for that if you're not familiar with it. Also wanted to show some of the guns that I'm using, like just because you're low health, doesn't mean you have to use bloodied guns. I'm going to show bloodied guns. I'm going to show executioners. I have vampires and I have a furious flamer. They all work amazing with this build. So you don't necessarily have to go looking for a bloodied uh, heavy gun. So just keep that in mind. Like this furious damage while aiming flamer, it isn't the best, but like it does the job, man. And so does my Executioner's 50 cal, and my Executioner's LMG is just a beast. This bloodied plasma, Gatling plasma, is a beast too, though. I do recommend bloodied guns if you can for this build, but they're not a necessity is my point. And of course, like I said, an unyielding set of armor. Um, depending what you want on the, the armor is 
definitely up to you, but unyielding is definitely a must-have. And I usually do wear the flannel shirt that I was showing, but if you can find the shielded Brotherhood officer suit, then that's what you'd want to be wearing for this as well. You'll probably find the officer suit. It's a little hard to find the shielded, um, unless, you know, someone's selling it in a vendor or you find the plan yourself, which can be a little bit harder to do. And I just wanted to showcase what this build can do. Um, like I said, you don't have to be low health. Like, running around at, like, medium health with, like, half rads, half health is actually pretty good because then you still get, like, some of the benefits from the unyielding, which is kind of what I was getting to with this build, and you still will be more powerful. But if you do keep your health at 20%, that Nerd Rage uh, perk card that I showed earlier is going to kick in, and you're just going to do so much more damage. And you're still pretty strong, too. If, you're, if you haven't done a bloody build or an unyielding type build before, I highly recommend you just don't have, you know, the 20% and just work your way up to it. And you'll find that you, you start to get used to it. You just got to be quick with the stim packs and get used to dying. Dying isn't really a big deal, to be honest. Even if you die in an event, you don't really lose your loot. But, yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. You know, you have, you have to work towards everything in this game. So don't be demoralized if this doesn't work for you right away. Just keep at it. And I assure you, once you have the build similar to what I have here, you'll just be destroying stuff and you'll be pretty much indestructible for the most part. It'll take a lot to kill you. Like some poison is probably the worst thing to watch out for this build. But yeah. Just wanted to showcase this or showcase this build. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Let me know, like I said, if you would change anything up. I'd love to hear it in the comments. And uh, thanks again for the support on the channel, everybody. You have a great day.